Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, that's Madonna helping you with drawing and painting ideas. For today's video, I'm going to show you 10 drawing supplies you need as a beginner artist and if you are overwhelmed on what art supplies to buy, let's get started. So for the first one is paper or surface. There are so many papers to choose from and if you love smooth and vellum finish, you can use Bristol paper. This paper is ideal for both wet and dry media and each pad holds 25 sheets and it comes already with 100 pounds so this is an XL Kensen paper or Bristol and it's really great for ink, pen and mixed media illustrations for this coming October this paper is perfect you can use it with pen or different kinds of mediums and this is one of my favorite really I really highly recommend it so let's go to drawing paper. This is a really affordable paper, cheaper than bristle paper. An excellent paper for all dry media. And, and if you like, you can check the link in the description box if you want to check it out. For the next kind of paper is charcoal paper. And if you love to draw with charcoals, give this a try. You can create amazing results with this charcoal drawing or drawing paper for the second one is a sketchbook or a sketch pad so sketchbooks are a great place to practice your skills in sketching or drawing you don't have to buy a very expensive sketchbook why because sometimes it can cost to give you art blocks and this paper has medium too so it gives a lot a little bit of texture if you use like graphite or charcoal but this has 100 sheets and is really economical and this is really great for uh, making quick drawing and sketches so one thing that you might consider if you are still trying to learn with your art styles or experimenting what kind of media to use uh, this one is my favorite the XL Kansan Mix Media you can have a lot of freedom to try new things i really highly recommend to get a, a big sketchbook at least like a 9 by 12 inches so your whole arm or your whole hand have enough space to draw or sketch on that surface so it's also more comfortable to draw with enough space and using a spiral sketchbook can give you a lot of freedom you can use it like an art journal so it's really win-win and you can use it with a pens to gouache or really with different kinds of media to try here are some of my examples i tried with different um, medium like inks watercolors and acrylic gouache and i find this really very economical too and versatile for different medias and definitely great for mixed media artists or just if you're just trying to learn with your style or drawing always go for the acid free sketchbook and if you want to preserve your art or sketches drawings or illustrations for a long time i highly recommend to get an acid free sketchbook in that way you will be able to see your progress or improvements and it can really be inspiring to look back on your past drawings or sketches aside from sketchbooks you can use also like visual journal these are really great too and so light washes are great for this type of paper and dry media you can also use the strathmore mixed media this is a smaller version and you can use it to carry on wherever you want or even just to get a, a small one to start with your art practice now let's go to the number four which is the pen so micro pens are really great pens to try for sketching or doodling and i also highly recommend this unipen mitsubishi this is one of the great pens too that you can try if for example you're looking for different kinds of pens to try this one is really worth it and i have also this the tombow mono drawing pen i made a separate video for this kind of pen that i made a review for that so you can check it out if you want to later and you can also use like deep pens i normally don't use it so often but it's really great for inking i find it a little bit messy if i 
I use it and you need ink for it while you are drawing but for example you don't have um, the pens you can definitely use a brush pen this is a pilot brush pen you just uh, squeeze it and then it has you know, the ink will come out on its own and then for example too you like to use sharpie pens for drawing these are really great to try or sharpie markers i should say and there's one more thing that i really highly recommend is a water brush so if you don't have like brush pen you can use a water brush and you can add colors or pour colors into it you can squeeze it like a normal brush pen and next is an ink yes if for example you have deep pens or refillable pens you can use ink each ink is really very good ink because it is waterproof so you don't have to worry about if it will smear my favorite brush for ink is this menso brush this is really good you get already the very good tip of it if for example you are going to be participating for inktober this is a really great brush because it's all in one now let's go to pencils for pencils i use mechanical pens these are really great pencils this is a pencil 0.5 you don't have to sharpen it it comes with a refillable leads already great and if you don't have mechanical pencils go for a graphite pencil set this is a Paris Conte graphite pencil if for example you're tight in your budget you can just really go for like HB pencil or 2B I think you can purchase it individually too which is HB and 2B they are really great pencils as you can always apply or add more pressure to the pencils if you want darker values so next is color pencil color pencils are really great for mix and major drawing also and you can use it over watercolor gouache in different medium for your illustrations and drawing or you can use it alone so here the sets also but i definitely recommend the 36 sets because you already have the foundation the color pencils set there rather than just for a specific subject so this one is not a must but it's nice to have so for the second one is a fever because of polychromos they are super vibrant colors these are 36 sets next is charcoal pencils charcoal pencils are great art supplies or drawing supplies if you're starting to draw because you can really get high contrast and values quickly than graphite pencils this is a very affordable general charcoal kit which it comes already with charcoal sticks and sharpener now if you want a smaller set i highly recommend this turban charcoal too they do comes with like light dark and medium and it comes with a sharpener already and this is really pretty cool case it's small unlike with other brand it just it comes with a card box so this is very convenient if you love to travel and you can carry it on wherever you want to and second to the styler mars plastic is uh, that i how recommend is the tombow mono zero this one is a really great the quality is great also and if you have always have a problem with messy erasers i highly recommend this because you can erase a detailed subject because it gets a thin or a pointed tip to it so the little eraser are great for graphite and charcoal and really helpful to lifting out the or lighting up the sketches for your drawing or illustration for the last one is sharpener this one you can go with a basic or any sharpener that will work for you but if you are just starting i highly recommend this the sharpener from prisma colors these are really really great for sharpening pencil so there you go guys and those are the 10 drawing supplies you need if you're starting to draw or learn how to draw a sketch 
so you can also check the links in the description box if you like to for the list of our supplies that I mentioned in the videos so thank you for supporting my channel please subscribe for more drawing painting ideas and art supplies for you thank you to all who participated in my energy polls and questions if you have any suggestions our questions feel free to leave a comment below and i would love to hear from you so thank you for watching and i'll see you again in the next video bye